Hey little ones, today we're reading a book about a caterpillar, so get comfortable and have your listening ears on. The Crunching Munching Caterpillar by Sheridan Kane, illustrated by Jack Tickle. Caterpillar was always hungry. For weeks he crunched and munched his way through the fresh juicy leaves of a blackberry bush. One day, Caterpillar was about to crunch into another leaf when... Bzzz! Bumblebee landed beside him. Wow, said Caterpillar. How did you get here? Simple, said Bumblebee. I have wings. Look. Oh, I'd like me some of those, said Caterpillar. Bumblebee flew up into the air and buzzed busily from flower to flower. I'd love to fly like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Bumblebee. I've got wings and you've got legs. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, sighed Caterpillar. Bumblebee flew off to the next bush. Watching Bumblebee fly had made Caterpillar very hungry, so he crunched and he munched until it was time for bed. Caterpillar woke to the sound of twittering. Birds swooped and soared in the early morning light. Caterpillar was just about to start his breakfast when Sparrow landed beside him. I'd love to fly high in the air like that said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Sparrow. You need to be light as a dandelion fluff that floats on the breeze. You're far too big to fly. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, said Caterpillar sadly. Caterpillar kept on crunching and munching all day and into the evening when the sun began to set. He wrapped a leaf around himself to keep warm. He was just about to go to sleep when... Butterfly landed gracefully beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you, sighed Caterpillar. But I'm too big, and I have legs instead of wings. Butterfly smiled a secret knowing smile. Who knows, perhaps one day you will fly, light as a feather like me, she said. But now, little Caterpillar, you should go to sleep. You look very tired. Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy. As Butterfly flew off into the night sky, he fell into a deep, deep sleep. Caterpillar slept all through the winter, and his sleep was filled with dreams. He dreamed he had wings and was soaring in the blue sky above the tall trees. He dreamed he was a piece of dandelion fluff drifting towards the sun. He dreamed he was as light as a feather floating on the breeze. When Caterpillar woke up, he felt the warmth of the spring sun. He was stiff from his long sleep, but he did not feel very hungry. He stretched and stretched, and a breeze lifted Caterpillar into the air. Caterpillar was no longer short and plump. He had wings, great big wonderful butterfly wings. Wow, he said, I'm flying, I'm really flying. The End how wonderful! Caterpillar's dreams came true. And you know what? Just like Caterpillar, you can make your dreams come true. It'll be hard work, and there will be people who say you can't do it, or say your dreams are silly, like Bee and Sparrow did to Caterpillar. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Only you know what you're capable of doing. So as long as you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything. You got this. I believe in you. See you later, alligator. <laughs>